Hi, welcome to the another update video of the making of the bazaar. And we are going to be talking about the process of creating items on the bazaar. So the creation of the, the illustration for the items uh, is uh, complicated it's, and it's um, based on uh, several uh, guidelines. One is that the item should represent and a card in the game, so it's going to be related to what it's doing on the game. The second one is that the item should be related to the character. It's going to reflect uh, the character design and his appearance and uh, also his color palette. So basically, this is a color palette and the item palette for the uh, Pygmalion. Blue is mandatory color on his palette. They are uh, whimsical, a bit cartoony, but not over cartoony, not too stylized. We're trying to make the illustration that uh, represent the item the best and separate it from the background. So you cannot see the other stuff on the illustration too much. So you will not be distracted by them. Yeah, we'll talk about um, creation of the rare art illustration. It's basically the illustration of an illustration. So we started with uh, simple sketches. As you can see, there is a uh, line and shading. Lines are used to uh, represent basically the design and the shading to separate the item from the background and represent where the light coming from. So we picked number two because the portrait uh, is a focal point pointed in it. He attracts attention and uh, yeah, uh, jumped straight to the colors with it. So we tried to make different lighting conditions. One was in the night, one was in the daytime. Uh, this is the final illustration, but uh, we recolored it a bit so uh, the it will fit to the overall palette of the Pygmalion. He has blues, not violet colors in it. So let's talk a bit about the Vanessa's items. A simple one, it's just a barrel for the illustration to be interesting for people who play in the game. We try to make it not so simple, but also represents just the simplicity of this item in this illustration. Uh, we try to make it dynamic, so it will not be just simple standing barrel, which is dull. And option C is a tilted barrel. Also, the tilted barrel has a, a light around it, which is uh, not actually what we think is good for the items that should be common. So if we make magical uh, light behind the item, the audience will think that uh, the item have magical powers, but uh, it's not. So basically, we choose option A and we go to the coloring. Uh, yeah, we choose uh, to make the station in the common colors, like it stands on the bazaar uh, streets, but uh, from the palette, the palette of the Vanessa, we pick the red color on her textile uh, sleeves inside the barrel. So yeah, this is what we ended up with. This illustration is a wanted poster. Uh, and we made start from the sketches. Uh, here is we, we have uh, three different locations when, where the, as this poster is. Uh, one is on the street, option two is on the table of like, maybe some kind of a policeman and option three is uh, on the um, desk where uh, for example a detective could point uh, lines all right, through these sketches, we had an illustration of the Vanessa inside of the poster, and she was looking too good. She was not like a person that you want to be searching for. So she's uh, uh, not a wanted poster here, person here, she's like a celebrity. And uh, you, we want to uh, a bit rework it a bit, just to um, uh, make her face straight so that people on the street could recognize her immediately. So we ended up in the middle one and jumped straight to the finalizing st stage. Also, there is like an, a reference, for example, a seashell, which is uh, uh, common for the Pelagian people. Uh, they uh, use uh, a lot of uh, seashells to make uh, items uh, for common use, like uh, to working tools and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a wanted poster on the stand of the detective room. and. Um, I think, I think it's come out really well, yeah. 
so uh, we ended up with uh, this color grid for the character uh, you see this different illustration inside of it and they all have red in common and also the design notes it's elegant it's, it's uh, ornate it's uh, very um, precise and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the process how we create art see you next week on the another update video of the making of the bazaar